So this michaelis menten equation tells us some important implications of, about enzymes that follow these michaelis menten kinetics. For example, if we're dealing with a high substrate concentration and in this region with huge substrate concentrations, what would we expect? Well, if we're dealing with huge substrate concentrations, this substrate term will dominate this KM term. If, this, if we're dealing with huge substrate concentrations, this term will be so much larger than the KM, then we can ignore the KM. So if we were to ignore the KM, we'd be left with this equation. We just ignore the KM, so we're left with this equation. And in this equation, we'll see the substrate concentrations canceling. So if the substrate concentrations cancel, we see that the velocity rate will equal the Vmax. And that makes sense. If we have a huge substrate concentration, the velocity rate will equal the Vmax. The velocity rate will equal the Vmax if we have a huge substrate concentration. So, so, so that's what an implication of this michaelis menten kinetics. And again, the math tells us that. So again, at huge substrate concentrations, the, the substrate concentrations cancel and the velocity rate will equal the Vmax. And in this situation, the, this, this enzyme will follow zero order kinetics. And we know what zero order kinetics are. When an enzyme or, or any reaction is following zero order kinetics, that means even if we slightly change the substrate concentration, the velocity rate isn't changing much. As we change the substrate concentration, the velocity rate is staying the same. That's what zero order kinetics are. So in this region with huge substrate concentrations, this enzyme will follow zero order kinetics, which small changes in the substrate concentration cause no changes in, in the velocity rate. So that's with huge substrate concentrations. But what if we're dealing with very small substrate concentrations? Well, if we're dealing with very small substrate concentrations, then in this situation, if we have a very small substrate concentration in this region, <coughs> then the KM will dominate the substrate concentration. If we have a very small substrate concentration, we can just ignore it in this denominator term because the KM will overpower it. So if we were to just ignore the, the substrate concentration in this denominator, we'd be left with this equation. And what does this equation tell us? As we increase the substrate concentration, we directly increase the velocity rate. So that's what happens under small substrate concentrations. So under small substrate concentrations, this enzyme will follow first order kinetics. And we know first order kinetics is when increasing the substrate concentration directly increases the velocity rate. So at small substrate concentrations, enzymes follow first order kinetics. And we see that based on the math. And again, first order kinetics is when increasing the substrate concentration does increase the velocity rate, they're proportional. So lastly, let's say this, the particular substrate concentration happens to be at the KM. And again, what is the KM? The KM is is specifically the substrate concentration that gives us half of the Vmax. So what if our substrate concentration happens to be at the Km? Then we know the substrate concentration equals Km. So if, if we have these, these equations, we know we can simply, instead of Km, we could plug in substrate concentration because they equal each other. So if we were to do that, we'd be left with this equation. Because again, remember Km equals substrate concentration. So we can just instead plug in a substrate concentration. So we'll be left with this equation. So we can add these substrate concentrations and be left with 2s in this denominator. So now, with, now the substrate concentrations will cancel. And now we see the velocity rate will equal half of the Vmax. And we know that when the substrate concentration equals the Km, when the substrate concentration is at the Km, the velocity rate will be half of the Vmax. So again, the point is, this is the michaelis menten equation. We can plot it with this michaelis menten plot. And essentially, the way this equation works is as long as you know the Vmax and Km, you can take any arbitrary substrate concentration, plug it in, and determine what the velocity rate would be at that substrate concentration. So in the next video, I'm going to talk about the Leiden-Weaver-Burke plots, and I have a link of that video below.